Well, complex adaptive system theory um, for me was like, you know, we'll, uh, we'll talk about having a new lens or sort of a new door to walk through to all of a sudden see things or um, interpret things. And so complex adaptive system theory gave me that and was a perfect fit for what I was realizing and experiencing when I was doing nursing work, but didn't have anything to hang it on. So complex adaptive system theory provided that. I knew that um, asking people to do one thing in the context of real work and them not accomplishing it was not just about they didn't know how to do what I asked them to do and it wasn't about they just didn't want to do what I wanted them to do. I learned very clearly as a nursing manager when, when you walk out on a unit and you walk down the hall you don't even have to ask any questions. You can pick up cues about the dynamics of what is going on and how one thing at one end of the hall is going to or has affected something toward the middle of the hall or down at the end of the hall and how if one nurse really looks um, very um, busy or uh, getting frustrated with work it, it might not be about what they're in tune to right at that moment but it's about everything that has been going on around the people in the unit and how they're all interacting with one another complex adaptive systems complexity theory is about just that one part of the system or one little uh, uh, something happening somewhere pulling strings and affecting multiple other places in the system whether it's just one person um, being affected by something happen that happens uh, close to them or uh, one person as a system who all of a sudden just has a thought about what they left at home that isn't pleasant and now affects their presentation to the patient. So complex adaptive systems explain for me why I can't think linear, linearly, linearly to uh, understand what's going on. And it also helped me with a framework to why I can't then find solutions linearly uh, without using a framework that more explains interrelationships and the, dy the dynamism of it and, and what makes things work that way in real work. Um, so, so the whole idea around concepts of complex adaptive systems, meaning relationships, um, e things evolve, they, they don't stay the same, they're constantly changing. Um, the fact that one, th one little change here can make a dramatic change in another part of the overall system that you can't anticipate sometimes or prepare for. All of the characteristics that go into that theory um, just fit with actual real work. One of the uh, things I talk about is um, when I talk about um, complexity or complex adaptive system theory and some of the concepts related to that. Um, you can get a sense of it yourself uh, in the story I use is if you've had a terrible shift, you know, like for a nurse working on a shift, and they have just run the whole time, they're getting toward the end of it, um, they, they're frustrated, um, they uh, haven't gotten finished everything they wanted to do, but maybe by the end of it they were able to accomplish the more important things, but it was just dreadful while they were there. So they drive home and they go into their house and they go to explain to this person, or at least to say hello to the person they live with, who isn't in healthcare. And uh, they walk in, the person notices they're dragging in and says, oh, how was, how was work? And they go, oh, it's terrible. Oh my, what happened? And the person starts to explain what the shift was like with all of the feeling and emotion and everything that was involved. And the person they're speaking to after about 30 seconds, their eyes glass over, and then this person knows there's no way to help them capture what it was like to be in it. And so for me, that's what complex adaptive system concepts, theory, and everything can explain is all the dynamism, all the interrelationships, all the goals wanting to be accomplished but uh, competing with each other. It explains that feeling and the inability to have somebody else realize that when they're not in it.